Hi and welcome again with our ASP.NET Core MVC Entity Framework. This will be number uh, part 11. Uh, we are trying to finish our uh, uh, con uh, student controller. Uh, last time we stopped in this point. Uh, we just we add we are editing the, our uh, 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 this tool we call it a uh, drop down list. So just we are trying to fill it. So right now sel uh, a new uh, select list. Okay, and this this list what we will should write. Uh, we need first of all our uh, view bag. Our view bag we call it here view bag gender. Okay, back here we just put like this. Second things uh, we need the uh, the columns name from our database. If we back here we take gender, we put first one here and gender name. To read the value and display value. Yo, yeah, not again. Okay, let's save it. Okay, now if we uh, run this one, we'll see the result. So what we have something here. Oh, sorry, we forget to close it. No problem. We can close it here like this. Oh, span. Or select, finish like this. Oh, that's it. And there's here one more. Like this. That's it. Just save it. Uh, refresh from here. Let's go to our student index. Now we don't have any student, so let's go to grid. Okay, this is what they call it dynamic. So I have everything here with me. So look here, NA. If I go to my control panel, let's go to genders, NA, delete NA from here, yes, back to. Uh, Sorry to students now. Student controller. Okay. Let's say new. See, this is what we call dynamic. Easy and lazy here. So let's add date of birth. I will try to change all these things to here. 10, 10, 10. Male or female. Registration date 10, 10, 10. So here I, I should choose uh, one of this. Let's say uh, to graduate. Great. This what we have here mistake. Uh, let me check it. I don't want to make it long video. Okay, actually there is no problem. Just I forgot to add the method here. It was empty. Just I add the uh, model state. And I add uh, what I got data from the HTML to the database. After that, back to the index. So let's try add one now. Okay, 10, 10, 2010. Uh, again, 10, 10, 2010. I need to like. Let's say, was to graduate. That's it. The first name, okay. Last name and the date of birth and this okay that our data it's fine so but what's me in this here again it's give me just number two what's main number two male female and noun what's it we don't know we should fix this problem how to fix this problem now close and back to our uh, our repository we're back to student repository to the when we get all the uh, student here, let's write here add include. Include if we can't find include here, you should add a new uh, library here namespace. It's using I think it's, uh, Microsoft 
that uh, into the framework or this one like this after that back again you will find here include include what uh, let's say include uh, we need gender uh, so g equal g dot uh, need genders that's it we close so that's it here just we add gender and uh, close this one save it uh, controller in the controller we don't need to change anything just we include the data together so make same decal in SQL Server it's joining tables we join student table with uh, gender so just here in the creation same we don't need anything in the student index not this one view will be this one yeah but here in the index still we have the ID only so just here we take this one off we take dot genders dot which one we need we need just gender name so now we replace the ID with the name okay that's it save it before we move to the or before we test it just let me change some uh, attribute on this one I need to put something requirement and messages same this same as this one because uh, it's important same last time we had error so shouldn't save or shouldn't do anything if you don't have data this one need this one too all them all of them should be required and uh, this data given the data okay should be required and this one to what gender should be required and here it's null but it's required to because we'll get that so I don't need here just I need name even name don't need nothing that's it gender to gender cause will be default there is the uh, there is a value inside it where is gender 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 uh, I need bigger glasses ah this one gender here so uh, let's start from first one first include all okay here they said uh, first one it would be first name well, let's see first and this one would be last name first and last name is required last name here what this one uh, date of birth okay we don't need name okay and here date of birth is required that's it here and registration let for just now we need here one should be required and should be um, under this one okay no problem registration date let's take all of this one registration date registration date is required will be here too it is required so save everything gender there nothing and last start it and see what will happen with us that's okay we'll try to add and see our data it's okay or no and same time we can check it in our database let's say uh, we need student let's just select all of them see here we add null or one only we take the value only we don't insert 
the the display value we don't insert phd or undergraduate or postgraduate no we just insert the value okay let's go now to student index now what we see here we see male male so it's replaced the value with this one gender we need a gender i forgot gender okay no problem so what here we have something here missed what's it this one status so here it's okay it's accept null but should give me something should not leave it like this so maybe can fix this one and fix this one and let's agree it or creation it's okay let's add row one l a i think let us put 10 10 10 Let's leave it female to check the data only, just for checking. And uh, let's say anything here, period. That's it. Just now we need to uh, fix the status of this one. Okay, let's close this one. And let's go to we say gender, we need to just write a name for it. Okay. Let's say gender. And uh, for this second one here, we need uh, something we call it format uh, for the status. So here, oh sorry. Uh, should be format, they call it here. Let's say add. Uh, let's say here will be display format okay uh, for now now uh, they call it null display text which one this one will give us uh, let's say no those uh, what's mean this if anything came from database to the HTML and it's null, replace it with no status. Let's check before we had one null. So now we should be there is nothing empty. Should give us any any data to say to us here there is nothing. So let's go ahead and get to the student index. So we should fix two things: gender, let's fix it, and everything's fine. Even status, if there is nothing, will not give me null or in blank here. Will give me no status. We use a format. Which one? This one. Display format. Uh, uh, that's it for today. And next time, just we'll try to add delete and start with the new, uh, let's say for an enrollment. Will be same as this one. It's not too too difficult, but there is more relations. I would say this one. Okay, see you next video. Bye bye.